Okay, hey, journal freaks. I made it to the table this morning. Uh, ooh, that's my um, exercise ball that I sit on and not me farting. Um, anyway, I made it to the table, yay, yay, yay. And I hope you made it to the table as well. Uh, and what I mean by that is uh, this 30 day challenge that I have going right now that I um, art every day. Um, so I'm just challenging myself, or not actually challenging myself, actually I'm just giving myself permission to spend 20 minutes arting every day. And um, I'm sharing uh, that experience with a couple of friends right now. Um, and if you want to join us, just please let me know. It's just an amazing um, experience. We are on an amazing journey and just loving it. So um, anyway, with that said, I'm going to set the timer for 20 minutes. Um, and uh, yeah, um, the thing is, is I wish I could do these videos live, but I can't because I do not have a thousand subscribers and I probably won't ever get to a thousand subscribers because this gen uh, this channel is just for journal freaks and for people who are looking um, just for a little bit of a boost um, to just uh, do challenges together, art challenges together and just boost our creative energy um, and positive energy because y'all, the world really needs it right now. So um, anyway, um, you know, I wish I could be coming to you live, but I can't because I need a thousand subscribers. So that kind of reminds me to ask you guys to subscribe and like and share. And yes, I keep my phone on and no, I don't edit these videos. Um, uh, at this point, I just put them up on the internet as soon as I record them. And Bob's your uncle. Uh, I hope you guys are doing 20 minutes a day too. I have another, I have another challenge going on right now, which is just so much fun it it sort of gives structure to my life to, to give my life challenge um so the other uh challenge i have going on right now is that i spend uh 30 day uh, uh sorry spend at least 15 minutes a day exercising or doing some physical activity um and that has just been amazing you guys it has really transformed my life i mean usually i just go onto youtube youtube is amazing um i usually just go on to YouTube and find some kind of HIIT, H-I-I-T, high intensity interval training. And then I just, um, you know, do it in my office right here. So um, anyway, I wanted to talk to you guys today. I want to do something a little bit different. Um, I just want to talk to you about pockets in the journal. I mean, uh, honestly, like I'm new to the whole art journaling thing and especially to putting things in the journal. I, I do kind of like doing that. Ooh. Actually, I just ripped my thing, but that's okay. Um, so I'm gonna put, I sort of, I'm gonna put this here, and then I have these extra journaling opportunities here, and I'm even like putting this um, watercolor uh, paper here as well. And um, I don't know, there was something about this spread. You guys remember yesterday? I was like, oh my god, I love this picture, and. Um, I just loved it so much but it kind of made me think of traveling again and I really do love travel so much and you know COVID has destroyed it so now I'm like hmm maybe this can be how I plan out a trip whether that be a small trip or a large trip or whatever so I'm, I think it's looking good like this I mean I could probably just leave this spread like this well, here's our I did some work on this yesterday. I kind of did some journaling here that you can't see and that I intend for myself not to see, but it was like sort of journaling around uh, my dog that died two uh, months ago. I know that sounds silly that I'm still super sad about it, but I am, even though we have another, we got another dog. We were a rescue here, so we accept, we have we had a space, so we took in another dog, and that's Juju, and she is just so wonderful. Um, anyway, uh, Let's talk about pockets today. So this pocket, I found out how to make on the internet and I will try to link um, where the video that I watched to make it. And so I'm not gonna show you how to make it um, unless you know you sort of put down in the comments that you would like to see how I made this. But actually I'm just gonna link it to the lady that I learned it from and it's just very interesting and I love it. So um, I'm just gonna move it over here, move my journal over here. This is my friend. Bobby gave me this. It's an oily fish rag, and if you're from Southeast Louisiana, you know what an oily fish rag is. And um, I'm using it for my artwork. And not only is Bobby an amazing tattoo artist, but he is also um, 
he is also a an artist. Uh, uh, he does art on other mediums other than skin. Okay, so anyway, uh, I made nine of these. I guess ten if you count the one in my journal, but I don't count that one. So here's sort of the where I am right now with all of these. So I'm just thinking, you know, that maybe I'll just go through uh, for the next 15 minutes or so or until I get bored and try to um, see if I can move these in any uh, direction, meaning, you know, can I make, can I do something different? So this one I had, I just added this actually, tilt the odds in your favor. And I have a notebook that's built with sayings that I cut out of magazines. Um, that's how I organize my things. So one, I have a, a uh, actually right next to the iPad that's filming right now is like this uh, huge collection of notebooks that um, has all of, has like things like, you know, small items, flowers, you know, stuff that I make, stuff that other people make. So anyway, um, so I have this little pocket here and inside here I have my, you know, like my existential question, what if, what if everything is a gift? And so that can, you know, you can look on the back of that and journal on the back of that. And then um, also, I guess I can do something on the back of this. So yeah, so like, I guess I'm just gonna try to advance. This might be confusing all these. So I'm gonna try to advance it. But um, basically this is how, uh, this is the best way to do it because I think first I made this one and to make these nine, it took the same amount of time as to make this one. So definitely it's better to make them all at the same amount of time. What I wanted to say is I can't possibly put all of these in this journal, right? It would just be too thick. I would have to take, look at, look, look at where we are right now. You know, it would just be too thick. I would have to take things out and whatnot. So um, I think I'm just gonna give these away. So I'm gonna say the first nine comments that I have, if you want one of these, just say, I want one of these, and then um, we'll work out how to get one of these to you. So let, let's just say that, let's just say that. So anyway, I can, I'm gonna start to like sort of embellish these while I um, describe a little bit about the materials. I mean, I, the materials obviously start with a book. And I found this pulp fiction book, it's called like The Duchess of Something. I have to find the title of it. But it's like, a, you know, it's like a um, Harlequin romance book or something like that. And uh, I just ripped it apart. And because you're supposed to use a book to make these little pockets. But they're so hilarious because, you know, Ash, startled, flung the walking stick aside. A stupid attempt to dispose of the evidence. I mean, it's just like, oh my God, there's, and then sometimes there's like sexy scenes on these or whatever. It is just freaking hilarious. Um, okay, so you can journal on the back of this or you can do a word or a saying on the back of this. You can journal on the back of this. I, y'all, I love borders. I don't know, it just makes things a little bit easier sometimes. I mean, you can, you know, make borders and then draw it, you know, outside of the borders, of course. You don't have to draw inside. I love this. These Copic markers are lovely. I absolutely love Copic markers and a couple of years ago, uh, we were cleaning out my father-in-law's, um, uh, uh, what do you call it, a uh, 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 lockup, uh, I guess, um, uh, storage locker, and he had a ton of these, and he gave them to me. So uh, he's a very uh, lovely. Um, okay, and this is like a piece, it's interesting, because this was also a YouTube video exercise where you make a painting, a watercolor painting, and then you cut it up into small pieces and see if, and I, I, I kind of like this abstract thing. And then I think you could probably, I don't know if I want to go with that, or if you want to go with just like, again, my sister's company, Aqua Washed Air. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's nice just to go with just a regular ballpoint pen my sister has given me so many pens. She knows my obsessions, you know, as you know, your siblings know all of your obsessions and whatever, and she absolutely knows my obsessions with pens. Uh, so she's constantly giving me pens. Uh, she's given me some amazingly beautiful pens and then some just regular ballpoint pens like this, which she knows I love. 
And um, anyway, this is her company and she sells rainbows, which are like a total air system. I can totally say yay about the rainbows because um, actually she gave me one for Christmas and we use it here. And then my um, housemate actually bought one, uh, another one to use on her, uh, in sort of her section of the house because um, she loves it so much. I mean, yeah, anyway, big, 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 big happiness for my sister. Okay, Til what if everything was a gift? Tilt the odds in your favor. Okay, so that's where we can leave that one. I think we can leave this one right now. I'm gonna leave this, like, as his beaver hat, I've been like a beaver hat towards the earth out of nowhere. I mean, you could make, you could literally make it like a poem by um, marking off things. gonna do this This kind of makes no sense, and I've just wasted a ridiculous amount of time on this, but um, you can't really be startled. Startled motionless, earth out of nowhere, crashing, some sort of lightning bolt. Yeah. Okay, well that makes absolutely no sense, I guess. Uh -huh. I think, anyway, you could do that if you wanted to. Uh, you know, so this one is, I think this one is, this one has to be done, people, come on. Yeah, oh my god, I, w I think I've wasted a lot. I've probably lost all of you. Okay, so anyway, that one's, th we're going to put this over here for now. I'm drinking water today, y'all, because, um, drinking water, uh, because... I'm out of coffee. Okay. So I don't know the relevance of this. It's like, love Japanese candy. I do love Japanese candy. I myself lived lived in Japan for seven years and I, I did love Japanese candy and Japanese food and you know, all, all the wonderful things that Japan has that we don't have like love hotels and stuff like that. Um, so, and I don't know what the Z is. Uh, I just like it as a letter, actually. I wonder if I had like a dog, if I would, if I would, name him something that started with a Z. All right, we can move. Oh, here's the it that I wanted to. I don't know what's going on with this. This is like a backstage pass to uh, Led Zeppelin. And then, I don't know what it is, but it needs to go there. And I don't, this has to be removed maybe, or maybe this can go there or something because the colors are just too Maybe, yeah, I can get, I 
got it off. <laughs> Yay! I think that's better. And then, you know, you, I spent a ridiculous amount of time on Facebook, like, blah, 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 you know, arguing with people. And I'm, you know, about how uh, we live in southeast Louisiana and there's an environmental terrorist in the White House. And, you know, I'm trying to explain these things to people and they just don't want to listen. And it's so frustrating because, you know, being a gal from southeast Louisiana, it's fucking has been happening my whole life. And it's just... I'm 55 years old and we've just been, you know, trying to save the wetlands for however long. Here I am using plastic. So I talk about this, but I mean, there are big things that we can do. There are big things that we can do and small things that we can do. I don't consume a lot. Honestly, I really don't buy a lot of shit. stomach you probably did not hear that although it's quite quiet today I don't have a train the train's not going okay I'm not saying these are finished but like do you, do you see how the work how I'm doing is I'm kind of just like okay I've laid some things down <laughs> these are the things that I pulled out of the journal the other day I remember I was like ah these don't work um, that's totally, I think that's totally okay and fine, and it's totally okay and fine to throw things away as well. I mean, I just cleaned out my, my garbage, but, you know. Oh, this is like a little story that I wrote about this dog that I knew. She was one of the first dogs that I really, really fell in love with. I mean, if you're dog people, you know what I'm talking about. Like, <sighs> I heard this guy, this guy Herman that lives in our neighborhood was like, it's a dog, you love it. You know, basically like no matter what the dog is or does, you love it. And all these dogs have taught me something about unconditional love. But I, this is a tiny little anecdote from Daisy's life. Daisy was a Jack Russell Terrier. Daisy May was born in Las Vegas. She doesn't remember how she got to the bywater. Yep, so that little story about Daisy May goes in there. And this, <laughs> this is a shopping list. I don't think I'm gonna put this in there unless I'm gonna have it as maybe a bat. I might just, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna see if it'll glue down in there because this is like some kind of weird backing that I didn't wanna waste, blah, 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 so I, Mm -hmm. yes she doesn't shop at all but this I got on my last I think I admitted to you guys that I had this like scary uh, thing that was trying to like make myself feel better with shopping therapy and we all know that doesn't work and so I ended up going to the Dollar Tree and spending like $30 on a bunch of crap that I didn't need yeah and I might sort of write the rest of that story on the back of there. This doesn't look like it's going to stay down. Uh, I might need something else, some help. I'm not talking so much just because I'm, I'm a little bit tired, you know. Getting, I, I really honestly, did I say already in this video, like I'm losing my mind, um, got up at the ass crack of dawn to go film uh, the last little bit of our um, of our film and um, the latest film that we're working on and we ended up in Chalmette. We were in Chalmette filming. Chalmette, Louisiana. Um, you keep going south and you get to a place where the water, the land turns to water. There's no difference between the land and the water. Anyway, I call the film uh, an environmental, a dot, an environmental eco documentary, documentary, an environmental eco documentary with a speculative ending that just became real, bitches.
that was kind of the weird thing. We were trying to, we were trying to finish up, you know, and then COVID hit, and then we were like, okay, we'll just wait to see how things go, and then we were waiting, 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 and nothing was happening, and so we're like, oh my god, we have to finish this film, and so we kind of like, we did, we are the last, we're shooting the last little bit tomorrow, as I told you guys. I don't know how this is all gonna work, but this is somehow gonna work. Um, I'm kind of happy with this, but I want to put some other stuff in it as well. I really had to force this thing in here, but this is like a little watercolor that I did. And uh, I did it on um, one of the uh, New Year's, so that's why it says in the back. In Japanese, Akemashite Omerejo Gozaimasu. Uh, so, but it's got a little nice color, a watercolor that says, May the goddess of all things bring you peace, prosperity, and joy, XXOO, Danita and Patrick. So, I liked how that is, and then also this right here will glitterly change the world. It's from a napkin that I caught off of a float, uh, a muses float. If you're from here, you know what I'm talking about. I wonder if that can kind of go in there. That that color scheme, that goes, I think that goes. I mean, I had like some kind of instinct that, um, you know, I had some kind of instinct that we were going to use these items that I kind of laid out. I guess that's how, I guess that's what I was trying to show you guys is like how the process goes and how I'm not like working on one thing or one page in my journal at one time but I think you guys noticed that and just curious like can you guys put in the um comments like how how you guys work like do you do one at a time or you know how do you find it you know you know how do you construct and how do you art and here's another one that I, I took where I marked out some and it's like a day, crescent clouds brought flow. I no longer felt afraid. So I just did one of those blackout. Well, I don't know what you call those. I'm sure there's a name for it. I didn't invent them. Um, but they just, it just seemed really fun to do that and put that there. This, oh my God, y'all. And the, the, do y'all have those little mini libraries all over uh, your city and stuff where people put stuff in these boxes and stuff like that? Um, books and things. Well, anyway, um, I got this whole cat, cat calendar. I'm not a super cat person, but a lot of people are. So, like, I thought, okay, we're going to put a cat in here. And we're going to paste one, this chair here. And then we're going to finish this off. Like that. So, like I said before, um, you know, the first nine people that comment here, you'll get one of these. Um, I will get it to you somehow, mail it to you in the mail. I'm probably going to wait till after the election to mail it to you, though, so you won't get it until, you know, sort of, I'm not going to, like, clog up, clog up the mail with that kind of stuff, with this kind of stuff. I don't know, somehow get it to you. Courier, pigeon, we'll get it to you. Just leave a comment. Peace, bitches. Peace.